If you know how important social media is, especially to an online business or even an online presence, and you're spending a lot of time on social media management, or you're not spending enough time because it takes too much time, I wanna show you a great free tool to help you automate your social media. First, this is going to help you post to social media. It is going to then help you analyze those results. And lastly, you'll be able to track the competitor's activities so you can see what's working well and not have to reinvent the wheel. Now, within these main areas, there's other little things that become very helpful that you're going to be able to do. For starters, this is gonna help you determine which social media platforms you should actually be on or at least spending most of your time on. You're gonna be able to see what your competition is specifically doing, what's working for them. And it's not only going to just give you content creation ideas, it's going to tell you when it is the best time to post those ideas and any specific hashtags that you can use. You'll be able to schedule out all of your social media posts. And if you're like me, you like to batch create and batch schedule content. This way I only have to think about it one time. I can go in and batch schedule a week, two weeks, even a month of content at a time and then be done because that frees up my mental space to be able to go and work on something else without any of the little distractions, like having to stop and post on social media. And then this is automatically going to give you an analysis on your social media results. So how has it been going over this past few weeks, this past month? And so that way you can identify based on what you're doing and the competition is doing, what do you need to do to close that gap? What do you need to do to be able to bypass the competition to help you stand out more on social media? So whether social media is something that you need to spend more time on for your own business or even for your clients' businesses, this is something that you'll want to pay attention to. So let's jump over and let's have a look at this free social media toolkit. We are looking at the SEM Rush Social Media Toolkit. So from within your dashboard here, they have a social media dashboard, and that includes the tools, the social media poster, the tracker, the analytics. So those are going to take care of the main areas of social media that we talked about. So if you have not set this up yet, you'll see that it's going to break down what it is that you can do with this social media toolkit. So to get started, we can click on any of these buttons and it's going to start us with the process here. So the first thing that we need to do is to connect our social media channel. So if we have any of these set up, we can go ahead and do them. You see, we have all of the big ones here. They even have Google business profile. So this is helpful for local businesses as well. So we'll start with Facebook and this is going to present a pop-up here. And then we just need to give SAMRush permission to access our page so we can post. And then you can see all of these tools that we already have now. We can go ahead and start scheduling out posts. We can see the posting calendar. So as we're creating a schedule, we can see if we have content sorted out in a nice way. We can start looking at the analytics. It's giving us an example of our boost in followers. We can create social media ads if we want to and even start setting up who our competitors are so that we can track them and what they're doing. So we really want to be able to dive through each one of these. So what I recommend here is to take the time to go through each of these and get these set up because you really only have to set this up one time and then you're just going to be coming back in. You'll be taking a look at your posting calendar. You'll be scheduling out your posts in batches if that's what your content allows you to be able to do. Uh, and other than that, you'll be able to track your own analytics. You'll be able to look at competitors, but that's actually information that you can set to have emailed to you, which is what I do. That way that analysis is coming into me automatically. I can pull open that email when I'm ready, look at it once a week. And then if I need to on my next batch, I can tweak the calendar. I can make changes to anything that I want and then move forward here. So if you're trying to figure out where to start, then I would start with going ahead and looking at scheduling out posts. Again, a free place to be able to schedule your social media posts is great. Look at the analytics of where you are. But again, this is something you want to come back to in a couple of weeks. You'll want to come back to in a month and be able to monitor how well this is working for you. But definitely set up the competition because that's what we don't do enough. We go in and we just throw up some random posts, but we're not looking at our competition, what's working well for them. If you have other social media profiles, if you have YouTube, if you have Pinterest, you have Twitter, Google business profile, 
more of those, you can simply click on this little plus icon here and it's going to allow you to connect any of those. We could go in, we can connect to Instagram. It's gonna give us those same pop-ups requesting for permission again, and we can move forward from there. So this is going to let us connect up to 10 different accounts that we can post to. So that is really helpful, especially if you need to be able to post to multiple places, you don't wanna to have to go into each of them individually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link down below to this social media toolkit so you can grab it there. Again, free account, access that so you can do more on social media, automate as much of it as you can, and be able to get more results from that. If you want to look at more, let's take a look at scheduling out some of these posts. So here, this is going to let us go ahead and create a post. Right now, it is highlighting Facebook. We could click on Instagram too if we wanted to. We can go ahead and create the post. It's gonna give us our preview so we can see it on desktop and mobile. And then down at the bottom, we can add this to the queue. So we can actually go in and we can set up different times that we want it to automatically be posted in the queue if we want to. Uh, we can also create this. What I think is helpful, especially for batch creating, is that I can schedule it or I can click schedule and create another. It just automatically pops up a new screen. Boom, throw in the next post, schedule, and we're done. Uh, what is helpful here, as you see schedule, we can set a particular day and time here, and then it's going to tell us when our fans are most online. So that way, if we want to get something that's really important, uh, let's say, for instance, we were posting an opt-in, then we can post that freebie, that opt-in, so we can pull people from social media to the website, so we can get those email addresses, we can post that when most people are online, so we can get that in front of the most eyes as possible. And we can also look for other types that people are online that maybe we haven't been posting so we can start to pull in some more traffic. And one thing that is helpful here is publish regularly. So sometimes there are particular pieces of content that are not necessarily time sensitive or there are something that you might want to promote once a quarter or twice a year or once a week, whatever it may be. You can actually schedule this to post from a certain date to another specific date and you can say how often you want that to be published. So I find this really helpful. I use this uh, I use this feature a lot actually because this allows me to re-promote the same piece of content to get in front of new eyes that didn't see it the first, second, or even third time and be able to post something that I could use throughout the year. So it just kind of starts to build up your content schedule, again, without you having to go back and repost, which we were previously doing. And the same options being able to post now or save as a draft. So let's go back out to our dashboard here. We now have a social media calendar. So you can see here, these are all the days and times that we posted on social media. You can see which platforms were posted and then you can see the upcoming posts. So we don't have any. So we can simply click on this plus icon or a new post and go through that same process there. Now, if you're short on ideas for content, that's where you can come over to content ideas and it's gonna allow you to add in feeds from your favorite blog. So if you find information from specific blogs or different resources online, you can simply add in the feed for all of those right here. And then it's going to show you all of the new content that they have coming out. So you simply can then click it, click share, and it will add it to your content calendar. So that's really helpful right there. So let's take a look at the social media tracker. Now this is where we can start to track some of the competition. We also wanna add in our own domain here so that we can compare that easily to the competition. And we can go ahead and add in another website to track that as well. We can just add in a handful of these just as an example here. So you'll see what's happening is as we add these in, it's going to start to show us which social media profiles each of these websites has. So our first one, Facebook and Instagram. The second one also has Facebook and Instagram. So really all of these are having Facebook and Instagram accounts. So that's telling you this is the place to be. But if you want to be able to stand out, you can consider adding in some of the other ones. But this is also helping you see, well, maybe this is where the bulk of your audience is at. So before just jumping on Twitter or LinkedIn, you want to make sure does that platform actually have the audience that we're trying to reach. So sometimes when we look at the competition, we can see that they are in other places. And if we see that they have a good following, that they're 
getting engagement, they're regularly posting, they're getting traffic coming back, which is something we can also look at in SEMrush to see, are they actually getting traffic from these social sources, then we can consider if we want to add that. Otherwise, we want to just really double down on what they're doing. So we can start tracking these companies. So now this is going to give us an overview of the competition here. We can see what the audience size is, how often we've been posting, some of the top content by the different channels. So we can say, okay, we have Facebook, we have Instagram here. These are the best performing posts from all of the competition. So we can see what people are actually reacting to. So if we want to go in and create some posts about that, create some content about that, share any of that this may be something that we want to do, a topic we want to cover. And we can also take a look at the different profiles they have or the amount of followers that they have on the different platforms. So, so far it looks like everyone is on the same platforms here. So if we want to get specific by platform, that's where we can go up here and we can look at Facebook, we can look at Instagram and so on. And we can see what posts are actually happening here. We can see the engagement rate, the reactions. So this is a good way to see you really what's working and what's not here. And we can also do this by taking a look at all the different profiles. So if we want to go into a different one, we want to compare what their engagement rate is, which are the ones that get the most reactions, uh, the most shares. We really want our content to be shared. We can get some more followers. Then this really helps us see what is most popular. All right, let's look at the social media analytics. This is going to give us an overview of what's working, what's not, what our analytics looks like for the past time period, but then we can get in more specifically, and this is where it's going to be the most helpful, looking at Facebook, looking at Instagram, what's our audience looking like, what mentions are we getting, page likes, engagement, posts, all these things are the most important. You can find out when most people are active on the page, or at least on Facebook in this case, so we know when we need to be posting. We can get an idea of how old they are. This information is also very helpful to put in a media kit. So if you have a website where you may have advertisers who want to pay to be featured in front of this audience, this kind of information is very helpful to them. And it's also helpful to you. So you know that if you have an ad, you know when you want to post it so you can get that business, the most engagement, the most clicks. So this will show you in a nice graph, which is pretty easy to read. When most of your followers are online, the darker the blue, the more that are online. And then the yellow represents your posts. So most of your posts are coming during these times. So we see that there's a lot of followers during these other hours, but we're not getting the post during this time. So this may be something that instead of some of these posts that are happening over here, we could bump that to maybe over here during the day, and that would be good. So if we simply click on this, this will take us back to the social media poster, and it will automatically allow us to create a post for that time. So they all are connected. It makes it really easy to use. So as you can see, a lot of information here. I'll let you be able to go through the different tabs like that. Lastly, I know not everyone gets into social media ads. And lastly, we have the social media ads tool, which I have just found out that they are actually going to be closing that particular one, uh, but they will continue to have the poster tracker and analytics. So this is very, very helpful free tool to be able to use. And my guess is that by using this, you're actually going to start to see a lot more information that you would otherwise, if you're just posting directly on, let's say, say Facebook or using their planner, this is going to help you start to get more reactive more engagement uh, from your posts and more traffic coming into your website. So I hope this is helpful. Again, you can use the link below. You can pick up this free social media toolkit and go ahead and connect your profiles, connect your client profiles so you can manage all of that from one dashboard here, which is super, super helpful. If you have any questions at all about this social media tracker, don't hesitate to post down in the comments below and I will get back to you there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.